Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. Last time, Tabby lost her teddy bear bang bang, so we have to go find it. Lucky us. Oh, waterway. Really? Huh. Yeah, more than likely. Okay. So, as luck would have it, the mayor's house is on the exact opposite side from where the, um, little shed is. Oh, things are really turning out our way, aren't they? Hey there. Yeah, we have to go down to a really, really, really dangerous sewer, our favorite type of dungeon in all JRPGs, to get a teddy bear. For a little girl. Because, you know, God forbid we actually stop the numerous army who's trying to take over this country. God forbid we actually try to find out who's members of the Water Tribe to, you know, maybe get some information out of them. See where these resident stones are and everything. God forbid we actually do anything useful. Instead, we have to look for teddy bears. Because that's what we do in JRPGs. If it was a boy, we'd tell him to go screw themselves. But it's a little girl, so we have to help them. Yeah. Oh, did you find anything? Thankfully, there aren't any monsters down here, so that's one saving grace of this place. Oh. Yeah, I guess it washed away. Yeah. Screw her! Tell her to... to watch her stuff more carefully! Give me a break! Man! She's a little girl! You're gonna sit there and get all stressed out? What should I possibly tell her? I just don't know! Oh my god, the poor dear! Like, screw that! Like, are you kidding me right now? Ugh. So anyway, what we have to do now is head... Um... You can head back now, but I don't want to because there's a treasure chest that we can get in here. So I do want to go ahead and grab that, even though it's rather far away from the entrance. Once we get the chest right here, I'm just going to cut back to town, though. So, yeah, grab the Orb of Ocean 55. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, so I'll meet you back in town. Okay, here we are. Like, uh, I hate fetch quests as much as the next person, but fetch quests like this are like the worst kind of fetch quest because they literally have nothing to do with the overall plot, like at all, nothing. It's a freaking teddy bear. I mean, come on. No, we didn't and we don't care. Screw it. Oh, yeah. I guess. Thanks for the words of encouragement. Not that I really care. But this stupid girl and her stupid freaking treasure, or tabby, or whatever the hell her name is. Uh, let's see. We need to go talk to her and tell her that we can't find her bear, though. I think that this is her house? Yeah, there she is. Okay, perfect. Hey there, little girl. We can't find your damn bear. Get over it. Go cry in a corner. I really don't care. Wait, what? What do you mean? What makes you say that? You shouldn't promise things that you can't keep, Rachel. Yeah, why'd you say that? Oh. What do you mean you'll make another bang bang? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, can you actually sew? Can you sew up a... Oh. So you don't like little detail work like embroidery, but you can actually make a teddy bear. I would think that embroidery would be easier than making a teddy bear, but that's just me. I don't know. I do actually cross-stitch, and I've done some embroidery before. I know it's like the gayest thing you've possibly ever heard in your life, but it is what it is. I've actually made pillows and stuff before, too. Which is pretty easy to do as long as you have a sewing machine. 
but I don't have a sewing machine anymore. I used to do it when I lived at my parents' house. My mother sewed a lot, and, you know, she's the one who taught me how to, of course, otherwise, how the hell else would I know how to sew and embroider and cross-stitch and other stuff? But I was always more into the detail work, like the embroidery and the cross-stitching, rather than um, making pillows or making anything else. That seemed harder to me. Anyway, once you've done that, go over here and talk to this guy. You know, this is that item shop merchant from Austern. Oh, yeah. Well, we're strong. We can make it through. It's not a problem for us. Marbles? Why do you want some marbles? Oh, so the monsters will trip over the marbles? What is this, cartoon? Yeah, I have plenty of marbles. Ooh, but for doing so, we get Doll Knight number 15. Nice! Why do you feel bad about accepting this? Most people just give us their books. At least we gave them something in return this time. So, I mean, yeah. So anyway, let's head over back to the workshop. Maybe Rachel can make the teddy bear in the workshop? Maybe he has sewing supplies and cotton and stuff? I don't know. I can't believe we're really going all like all this out of our way just to make this stupid frickin' teddy bear. What is it? Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, he had a visitor. Well, what do you mean he was likable? Uh-oh, yikes, evil music. Well, this guy looks crazy. Oh, he wants to buy Capuri, the marionette. Whoa! Holy crap! This guy's like death himself. Oh. Yeah, just who are you? You would think that Shadow and McBain would have stayed in with Rosé to like have his back, you know? Necross? Are you a necromancer, perchance? Oh man, I would say no, this guy's really creepy. Oh, is that a threat? Yeah, you shouldn't threaten this guy, he's our friend. Um, he's already hated. I don't know if we can hate this guy any more than we already do. Wait, what? A guy who was dumped? Well, what are you talking about? Are you talking about, like, dumping your girlfriend or something? Like, <laughs> you're so weird. <laughs> oh, of course they are. Oh. Wait, what? What are you doing, Xiao? Yeah, no kidding. Oh. You're always a joker, aren't you? Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh man, this is not good! So the Numerous Empire's here too, and they're planning on attacking just to get that marionette. Yeah, no kidding. At least the Numerous Soldiers here didn't recognize us. Like, you would think that that guy would know that we stole Arya away. He seems like he's pretty high up in the Empire. Oh yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should stay here and guard the factory or something? Oh no, we're not gonna search for that resident stone? We've gotta find it! Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't really need you guys' help anyway. I don't know why you joined our party whenever we didn't even leave the town to fight any monsters or anything, but... Hey, whatever. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that is true. Yeah, three people guarding this place, it should be fine. Yeah... We do need to find that resident stone. And the numerous empires all over the place. The last thing that we need is, is for them to get their hands on it. Uh, yeah, we are. I mean, that's where it's at. To the south, apparently. Okay. Oh, really? I wonder why the 
people of Giraffe don't go in there. No changes to Lucky Wind? Um, sure. Whatever you say. Oh, well, hopefully. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. She just got started. What will we be looking at? We'd be looking at, like, a needle and thread. Maybe some fabric down and some cotton swabs. Like, seriously? It's not like she's wrapping a present or anything. I mean, come on. Oh, well. So, yeah, we need to head on down south to Giraffe to head into this wind cave to find the resident stone. Ah, <sighs> yeah. But apparently this wind cave, like... Even the people of Giraffe don't go into it? I wonder what all that's about. Okay, here we are on Madrin Road, and, um, there aren't any treasures to speak of on this road, I don't think, at least. Let me look at my little notes. Yeah, there's no treasures on this road or anything. There are some new monsters. Um, I've already grinded and everything, so these monsters will be even easier than usual if I ever fight any of them. I do like that one, like, fiery monster. It looks kind of cool. It's like glowing with like the, the green flames and everything. That's pretty sweet. I approve of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and fight you. Why not? Get over here! Bam! So we have the fire tree, the bomber turtle. Oh, we got a lot of guys here. Yeah, the fire trees, the bomber turtles, the metal crabs. Oh, and these guys are all fire elemental. Uh, who got the water elemental spell? Oh, great. Yeah, Forte got it. That's just lovely. You know what? Let's have Una also cast a Grandel just because I feel... Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to say... Oh, will Roar actually hit? I don't think that Roar will hit. Yeah, no range. Okay, so yeah, just attack, and Bane will have you attack as well. Yeah, like I said, you really do want multiple people now to have um, attack spells so that you can deal as much damage as quickly as possible against these guys. Because look at that. I just dealt like 80-something damage to all these enemies here. It's so, so good. So you can clear out these mobs of like, you know, five plus enemies. So it makes it nice and easy. Let's see, let's go ahead and use a roar on that one. And you can go ahead and go down there. So with the fire tree, you can steal a lapis lazuli. You can also steal that from a metal crab. The bomber turtles don't have anything to steal. And all three of them are shockingly enough vanilla enemies that can do nothing else but attack you. I don't know why they can't, like, give some variety to these enemies. Why are they all just vanilla enemies? It's like, unless it's a boss or something, they don't even give them, like, spells or anything. They're just regular vanilla enemies. I mean, enemies- Oh, yeah, no! Had more variety than that in, like, the first Dragon Quest game. In like 1986, I mean, come on. They gave enemies stop spell and hurt and heal and things like that. Okay, yeah, let's just ask around. That is what we do best after all. Oh man, this place looks like a dump. It's kind of cool though, it's like over water and everything. It almost looks like it was made out of like abandoned ships too. Huh, portholes and everything. I kind of like it, it's dumpy, but it's like dumpy in a good way. Oh. Oh. Why isn't the bartender friendly? She got fired. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's what a wind cave is. He seems friendly to me. He told me about all the stuff here. Is there anything good here? No, it's just the same old equipment that we can get back at Echol, so I don't really care about all that. Let's just uh, continue on our way through here. Kind of reminds me of Rockus Palma. The way that we're like through abandoned ships and going over water and all that kind of stuff. Let's see, I don't think that I want to go down that way yet. Yeah, I want to go over here and talk to these people. Hey there. Oh. Oh. Really? You're pushed back by the wind? There's two entrances. Huh. That's different. Oh, okay, a big lighthouse. Oh, 
great. So no one should be there, but there are people there. Hmm. I wonder who those people could possibly be. Hmm. Let's just take a wild guess. Oh, yeah. We got the numerous empire here, I'm sure, hiding out in that lighthouse. I mean, where else could they possibly be? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, wait. Am I going the right way? I don't... Wow, I made it all the way back to the entrance of the village because I'm just that smart. Ugh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I know that there's another way to get to another house, but I just can't figure out the freaking way to get to the damn house. Okay, let's see. Oh, I know what it is. I need to go down here, I believe. No, okay, I don't need to go down there. Wow, I'm like lost. I hate mazy towns like this. Okay, this is where I need to go. Mazy towns like this are just the worst. I hate bridges in towns. I hate this crap in towns. It drives me crazy. Okay, so yeah, you don't want to go up there yet. You want to go up and over here and then talk to these people first. Oh, what'd you see? An old man in black going inside the lighthouse. Huh. And we just saw an old man in black threatening Rosé's workshop. Oh, wow. Word travels quickly around here. Maul. Your name is Maul. Hey there, Balkus. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, this is the guy that was actually fishing on the bridge. So, yeah, he told us all about this. Or I guess he went and told the townsfolk about us. Oh, hey. Yeah, and for talking to him right now, we get Doll Knight 16. If you moved on with the plot, the, the, the next little step of the plot, you would never be able to get Doll Knight 16 again. So make sure that you talk to him right now, because if you don't, you will be screwed out of the Doll Knight. Forever. Yeah, just another little bastard move that Falcon pulls. Oh. Well, maybe it's a keg of fish. It's not from the salted clams. What are you talking about? Oh. 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 Why can't we just move the stupid keg? Why do we have to ask the villagers? We're just gonna push it like a foot to the left or the right. I mean, come on. It's not gonna harm anything. But yeah, we need to go over here and talk to the fisherman, which changes his dialogue, therefore not giving you that Doll Knight uh, book. Yeah, do you mind moving the kegs for us? That would just be lovely. Okay, well, perfect. Wow, that was enormously easy. Huh. I love how the game quick jumps us whenever something's like two seconds away, but whenever we have to go from town to town, the game doesn't quick jump us. Thanks. Is there anything else to say? Oh. Oh. Monsters? Oh no! We can't possibly handle monsters in a cave where there's a resonance stone. Well, let's go check it out. How hard could this place possibly be? Where's that lighthouse, anyway? Oh, I guess maybe that little bridgey thing over there is a lighthouse? I don't really see a way to get to the lighthouse. Well, here we are in the, uh, giraffe cave. I thought it was the wind cave. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my god! Getting blown right out of there! Whoa! Yeah, no kidding. Oh, what can we do? How can we possibly make headway into the wind cave whenever it's blowing us out of there? How can we find that resident stone finally? Find out next time. Let's play the Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.